Now a chord chart is just a picture of the neck if it was in a section of the neck if you were holding your guitar straight up and down like this. So the line that you see that's going to be furthest to the right is going to be the first string, the thinnest string, the one that's closest to the floor, and the line that you're going to see to the left is going to be the sixth string, the lowest sounding string or the one that's closest to the ceiling. The lines that you see going across are going to be the fret bars. If you see a thicker line at the top, that's going to be the nut. And then the next thinner lines are going to be the fret bars. And then you see dots that are going to tell you where to put your fingers. Underneath, you're going to see some numbers which are going to indicate which left hand fingers you want to use to play the different notes. A zero means an open string. An open string is where you're not touching anything with your left hand. And then uh, if you see a one, that means your first finger. Now, the way you number your fingers on your uh, left hand is you start with your index finger is one, two, three, four. Now, the, the way you number fingers different, differs from instrument to instrument. If you uh, have played piano at all, uh, the thumb is the first finger, then second, third, fourth, and fifth. But on guitar, you don't count your thumb. If you are going to play a note with your thumb, and sometimes you do, you're going to see a T written in the chord chart. And we'll talk about those as we run into some chords with your thumb. So just remember that the chord chart is just a picture of a section of the neck of your guitar. And that the lines that are going across are the fret bars and then the dots tell you where you're going to put your fingers and the numbers underneath are which fingers you want to use.